And when it comes to the Mueller hearing, the White House says it could not have asked for better, while Democrats say they expected more. One America's Emerald Robinson has more from Washington. A surprise Washington, D.C. is still grappling with the testimony of special counsel Robert Mueller on Wednesday before Congress, one that many commentators and political analysts in town have called a disaster. Yeah, I count me among the people who were surprised. Stephen Groves, the deputy press secretary who helped lead the communications efforts for these issues, said even the White House was surprised by Mueller's performance. Groves told One American News it's clear the man behind the keyboard was not Robert Mueller. I mean, if you look at his testimony, it becomes crystal clear that he was not the man behind the keyboard. And that's all well and good. You've got a team of people to write that report for you. But before you go in front of Congress, it is the Mueller investigation and the Mueller report. You should probably have a very firm grasp of what's in the report. And there were multiple occasions where things that were definitely in the report that he was asked about, he said were not in the report or he didn't seem to think were there. White House advisor Kellyanne Conway earlier in the day told reporters it was clear Robert Mueller was not in charge of his own investigation. This was clearly a political stunt by people who were using and abusing Director Mueller and trying to imbue a flawed investigation, an underwhelming report for their purposes, and no juice for impeachment, trying to imbue all those efforts with Bob Mueller's integrity and reputation. I think that's a shame. I saw somebody who did not want to be used and abused by people. I also saw somebody who, it's not clear to me, was in charge of his own investigation, or most of it. Mueller's team included several lawyers with ties to Hillary Clinton, a hiring choice that Gross suggests Mueller will regret. These were partisans. They were people who went to victory parties for Hillary Clinton, people who represented uh, the Clinton Foundation, people who represent the, the, the lawyer sitting next to Mr. Mueller yesterday represented the guy who created Hillary's homebrewed server and destroyed her blackberries with a hammer. So there are Democrats and there are Democrats. And for whatever reason, Mr. Mueller hired uh, a number of people whose partisan bona fides were easily publicly available. It was a decision that I think he'll regret. And while President Trump alluded to investigating the investigators after the hearings. It was a fake set of facts that the Democrats used to add others to try and do really an illegal overthrow, but we're going to find out about it. Gross suggested there may not necessarily be indictments. I don't know that anything that happened behind the scenes uh, rose to the level of criminal behavior. Uh, there could be ethical lapses. There could be procedures that were not followed when you are predicating a counterintelligence or a criminal investigation, particularly into the president. Those are the types of facts that uh, Attorney General Barr is going to chase down. There are currently several investigations headed up by the Department of Justice to look at possible abuses and missteps by law enforcement in both the Russia and Clinton email server investigations. Groves reiterated that Attorney General Barr is heading this effort and says they will find out what happened because the president doesn't want to see this happen to anyone else. At the White House, Emerald Robinson, One America News. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One America News on YouTube and call your cable provider and kindly demand that One America News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.